paper three, like paper two, we had already done. Excess we had done last time. Now this is paper three. We have got Excel over here. Okay, obviously along with the other components. So this spreadsheet is little different than what you have done before. Means the the way you have used it, it is little different. Obviously along with the normal formulas that you have used, there are certain other formulas and the functions that you have not used before. Okay. Now here they are asking you to. Uh, I'll be explaining you first, you know, certain terms that will be used over here or that you might have not done before. Now, let's see what are these. Like if you open the Excel, obviously you know that the columns and rows are there and a specific cell, you used to call it as a cell and Obviously, every cell over here has got a reference. We used to call it there is an address for every cell. Suppose if I say I had selected web page, then what is the cell reference for web page? So the address of the web page will be will be address of the web page will be a one a one. Okay. So every cell has got a reference or an address. Now, when a single cell is there, we used to call it as a one. Now, when we have got multiple cell, we used to call it as a range. Okay? Like for instance, if I select from A1 to these many cells, then obviously it is called as range of cells because so many cells are there. So we'll say the cell reference for this range will be what is the address for this range of cells? A1 to A8. A1 to A8. A8. We use colons in between A1. We used to write A1 colons A8. Colon is for through. Means from A1 through A8. So this will be the when we have got multiple cells. It is called as cell range reference. Means there is a tar range is there. And we used to call it as range reference. Now when we have got multiple cells. Okay. For example, these many cells. Okay, so what is the reference for this? These these many cells. How do we refer these cells? E three to G nine. Ah, huh? E three to G nine. G nine means the top left corner, top left cell, and the bottom right cell. We will take, and then we will write the range reference of it means the cell reference of this they will be asking you cell reference range reference that's why i'm explaining you this okay now another thing that i think i have explained this before <coughs> is the relative and the absolute reference relative reference is what is a relative reference or a relative value anyone See the relative reference means which will keep on changing. Suppose I will put one formula over here of sum. Okay. Suppose if I have to add this over here, I will write the formula equals to sum. Okay. And I will add select these cells. I'll press enter. Now, this formula that I have put over here is for these cells. That is from G3 to G6. But these cells are open, means not locked. Okay? And because of that, when I will drag this formula to the other cell, what will happen? The reference will change. How? Let's see. Right now it is referring to G3 to G6, but when I drag this formula to the other cell, it will refer to H3 to H6. Means instead of uh, giving me the same reference, it is giving me a different one. Means it will change because the cells are not or the range is not locked. That is called as relative reference, which will keep on changing. 
Now, if I lock <coughs> this cell range, okay, or if I lock this value or this particular cell, then wherever I take the formula or the function, okay. it will still refer to the same cells. Let's see how. And this you can do by simply uh, putting the dollar sign, press F4 or dollar sign, then it will become C. I have same formula is there, but now I have locked the cell. So wherever I take the formula, it will still refer me to the same cells. Then it will be called as absolute, absolute reference. Okay. Now wherever I'll drag this formula, it will give me the same value because it is over here also. Cell is changed, no, the place is changed, but it is still referring me to the same range. They will be asking you in the question paper that, okay, show us the relative as well as the absolute reference. Okay, so you have to, you should know what a, a relative and the absolute reference is. Okay, now apart from the normal functions and the formulas that you have used, add, subtract, multiply, or divide or average, there will be certain other formulas and the functions that we will be using. One of the most common was or is is lookup function. Lookup means lookup means to look for a value. Okay? Like suppose you have got this entire range of cells, certain values are given over here. They will ask and if you have to look for a particular value then you use the lookup function. That lookup for suppose FP in this entire range. So it will only look up for FP and give you the result. So that is what a lookup function is. Okay? There is another function very commonly used is sum if. Sum I have just used over here, I have shown you how to add up. Okay? But what is sum if? If means Sum if means, James. Sum if means there is a condition attached to addition. Like sum if this condition is, if it meets with this condition. For example, in this range, there are so many values h and it is repeated h again, bh, bh again. So many times a particular value has been repeated. Okay? So, and suppose we have to add, I wanted to add all these values, means separately. I want to add all H which are there, means these minutes separately, BH separately. So, how to do that? Obviously, I cannot, you know, select and I cannot use this function sum because it will sum all of them together. So, but if I use sum if, what happens? It will pick up a particular unit and it will look into the entire range. For example, sum if, if it is H. So, it will pick up H and add them up. So, that is what sum if is. Okay? If also comes and seems to be a little difficult, it comes with, at times with uh, two parameters, three parameters, two conditions, three conditions. Okay? Like if conditions, they will ask you, do this if it is this. Do that if it is this. Like suppose I'll say uh, the students results are there. Some of them has got 50%, some of them have got 60% and some are below 50%. And I wanted to, there's an you know, uh, pass or fail or something like that I have to mention. Then I'll use an if condition. I'll say okay, if student A got more than 50 he should, it, we should get an pass remark, P. If the student got less than 50, then he should get a fail remark or F. Or suppose, if he gets more than 90%, then he should get an A star. So if you have got these kind of a conditions, then we use if. Okay? I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll use that formula later on in the questions. So, look up, sum if, 
if average round off these kind of formulas you will see and you have to use over here okay let's start with the first one that is the lookup function now over here they have asked you oh before that i wanted to tell you one more thing uh, like if you have got two files two excel sheets usually they will give you that one is the main sheet another one is the sheet for your table array means like this one they will give you a table array separately so there are two separate sheets so what you have to do is rather than opening them separately you move this particular sheet into the main sheet okay so how to do that right click move a copy into j9 sheet okay okay and then see both are now in the same file close this one so j9 code and j9 sheet both are here now let's see go chape now using a suitable software package load the sheet we had already opened place your center number candidate number in the header i hope everyone can do that you can you can press it don't worry don't worry okay any problems in that placing the center number candidate number in the header go block the next that is again Ma'am, look over here. This will be published later on. You can see over there. Any problem in putting the header? Go to insert and use header and place all these details over there. Your center, your candidate number, and all that. Now come to the question. It says the, in the web page column, the one that we have seen, use a lookup function. To show the company name. Now, what is this lookup function? We have just discussed. Open this file. This is the web page column. They are asking us to insert a formula over here. That is lookup function, which will look up for these values B, H, C, D, E, H, and all that from the another table that is J9 code, because their full forms are mentioned over there. So it will look up that what does B it stand for, and it will call the value over here. Okay. Remember one thing that always insert a formula for one value. Okay. Don't select all of them because you need all of them. But we will be implying formula for a single cell, cell, and then we are going to repeat that formula. Okay. If you select all of them, then you won't get the result it will be an error so i have put it over here now go to this fx that is formula button and say look up i will explain you the difference between look up and v look up also because at times they ask you look up and at times they'll ask you v look up okay that is value look up right now they are asking us the look up function so i'm doing that you select this look up value and array okay obviously we have to look up a value from an array okay now look up value will be what is the look up value tell me what is the look up value <laughs> not truly really. look up value is for which we have to look the values b scores so we'll select bh please concentrate otherwise not understand sir can i go to that yeah you have to select bh and array will be the table okay so go to the table j9 code and select this now here you have to here you have to see one more thing you don't have to, when you are selecting the table you don't have to select the you don't have to select the page you don't have to select what these are what these are fields you don't have to select the field names you just have to select the data over there and it seems that they are into three columns so don't select three columns just select they are into two columns only if we expand these columns then it will fit okay so just select two columns don't select these two fields then only you will get a proper result otherwise not and see like i have selected 
and it has already given me the result. That means my formula is right. BH means beginners holidays. Okay? Is that clear to everyone? Now formula is right. Now here we have to do one more thing. We have to make values relative and absolute. I told you they will be asking you, so just see the paper. It's written down that this function must include both absolute and relative referencing and must not use a named range. I will tell you what a named range is. But first we'll make it absolute and relative. Now which one should be absolute and which one should be relative? Tell me. Out of these two, which value should be relative and which one should be? Tell me. I just gave you an example. See, the array from where the value has been, value has been picked up, should be absolute. So that whenever we will pick up the value, it should refer to that table only. Okay? It should not change. So this B2 will remain relative, but this array will be Array will be absolute. So how to make it? We'll just select this one and press F4. It will become relative. Now, our first formula is complete. Look up value. See, the moment I'll press enter, it will give me the result. That is BH stands for beginner's holidays. Now, I have to look for all of them. So same formula has to be repeated. So what I do is I will just drag this formula. I will replicate this formula and I will get the results for all of them. Just drag it from the corner and you will get all the results. For all the codes, you will get the result. You got it? Have you understood? So this is what a lookup function is. Have you understood or not? Okay. <laughs> Replicate this function that we have already done. Now they are asking us to use another formula that is called as sum if. Okay? They are asking us to sum if. Sum if what? We have to interrogate this page code column. Means we have to look up this column. And we have to see how many h are there, how many bh are there, and they should be added automatically. Sir, look over here. Huh? Concentration should be here. Okay. Okay? Awesome. Now, sum if, as I told you, is the conditional addition. <laughs> I will put this formula. Okay, go. For the sum if, the range is the page code column. Because from here, I have to see how many H, how many P, how many CTs are there. Okay? So the range will be. Select this entire range. Okay? Till the last one. Criteria is BH. Then some range will be this entire minutes. Okay? Now we have to again make it relative and absolute. So the criteria will remain relative. But these two will become, these two ranges we can make it absolute. Now you can see that I am getting a result 195. Means the number of BH like 17, 14, it has added all BH which are present in this range of cells. So I am getting a result 195. You understood? So that is, it has added all the BH which are there in this range. Now formula is complete. Press enter and then obviously you need for all of them just drag the formula. Just drag the formula and you will get the results for all of them. You got it? Tipati got it? Any any problems, anything that you have not understood, please tell me. You you'll be able to do it? Come on, speak, say yes or no. Huh? No. Okay. Okay, close it. Okay. <laughs>